It seems like several other of our neighbors have also been approached about their houses. Well, Dr. Phillips' concerns are well placed. I've done some research on my own, and what I've uncovered won't do anything to ease anyone's mind. What did you find out? Well, I know who's behind this invasion. The corporation that owns the dummy companies is owned by Edward and A.J. Quartermain, Lee Baldwin, and Jack Bolin. They're the ones that are buying up this land? It's interesting, isn't it? Now, after Laura looked through the real estate transactions in the paper and noticed that there were three companies responsible for all the property buyouts in the Charles Street area, and we couldn't find phone numbers or addresses for any of them, and I went to Albany and... You know, just to take a look at the incorporation papers. They were dummies, too. I followed that paper trail all the way back here to Port Charles. Do you have any idea how much progress they've made? <sighs> take a look at this. This is what's gone. It's bordered by a high school on one side and a park on the other. That's a big piece of land. Look. So what do the Quartermains need with that much property in this area? Why don't I go find out? Mrs. Spencer, sir. I can see that, Reginald. I'm sorry to drop by unannounced, Mr. Quartermain. Well, no, Reginald just took care of that, didn't he? Uh, is there anything else, sir? You care for anything, Laura? Uh, no, thank you. I won't be staying very long. Then that'll be all, Reginald. Thank you. So where is Annabelle? Well, unless I miss my guess, she's upstairs with her nose pressed against our bedroom window, pining for her one true love. <laughs> who won't be following my lead, you'll be very happy to know that Foster has been put on a 30-foot tie, so his days of roaming are over. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. What? That irresistible smile. Do you know that that's the only reason I kept you on as a secretary all those long years ago? Because as a secretary, you gave a new meaning to the word dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> I did, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so... What can I do for you, Laura? Well, Mr. Quartermain, I'm here about my neighborhood. Um, it's been brought to my attention that you and Jack Boland and A.J. have been purchasing all the property in the Charles Street area, and I just wanted to know why. Where have you been getting your information? Are you denying it? No, no, I'm just asking why, when something untoward happens in a neighborhood, that you feel that you have to come here and lay it at my door. All right. Um, Justice Ward and I have been looking into who's been buying what. And three dummy corporations have been traced back to one company owned by the three of you. And Lebo. I see. And call me cynical, but I somehow doubt that your sudden interest in our neighborhood stems from an inclination towards historical preservation, so that leaves what? That I can't discuss. Is there anything you can discuss, Mr. Quartermain? Yes. ELQ has plans for the neighborhood. Beneficial ones. Beneficial to whom? To the residents of the district. Now, the project that we're contemplating will offer very needed jobs, and it will also give an immediate boost to the area's economy. You know what that sounds like, Mr. Quartermain? Hmm. A bunch of hooey. And I'll tell you why. You've already dislocated four square blocks of residents who will not be there to take advantage of the bettered economy. And depending on what you're planning to do with that land, there may not be a neighborhood there at all. You know, I love that community. It's my home. The people who live there are my family. So, um, I guess I'm putting you on notice, Mr. Quartermain, because I will not sit by and do nothing while you bring in bulldozers to destroy it, no matter how beneficial you say that destruction may be. 